Welcome to Physics Learning. I am going to start a new video lecture series on fiber optics. As this is the first video on fiber optics, I will give you introduction about the fiber optics. I will discuss the advantage of fiber optics over existing medium which is used to transmit the information from one end to another end that is coaxial cable. I will discuss its structure, types of optical fiber and so on. There has been always demand for increasing the capacity of transmission of information. Even we are asking again and again day by day how we can increase the capacity of transmission of information. For now, the modern answer to this demand is optical fiber. We can use optical fiber in order to increase the capacity of transmission of information over existing medium which we are using right now is the coaxial cable. Now the question is what is optical fiber? Optical fiber is nothing but transparent dielectric fiber which has been developed to carry efficiently optical signal from one place to another. Just looking at this definition you can easily judge why this name is optical fiber because the structure of optical fiber look like a fiber which is made up of dielectric medium and why optical because optical signal will be used to transmit the information from one place to another place, right? As light pulses is used to transmit the information in the case of optical fiber, naturally it will be very fast compared to other way of transmission of information. Like if we will use the coaxial cable, then information will be sent from one place to another place in the form of electrical signal, right? But in optical fiber, information will be transmitted in the form of light pulse. So obviously, light pulse will move faster compared to the electrical signal, right? Now, as we are discussing that optical fiber will be going to replace the coaxial cable and slowly it is replacing, okay? So what is the advantage of optical fiber over coaxial cable? There are many advantages. The first one is, Losses are extremely low in case of optical fiber, okay? So we can transmit the signal over a long distance without bothering about the repeater in between. The second one is optical fiber is very small in size and light in weight. So it is easy to handle, it is easy to transport. Third one is channel capacity of optical fiber is very high. Therefore, we can send large number of data very fast. Optical fiber are non-conductive, non-radiative, non-inductive. Whereas coaxial cable is made up of copper wire which is conductive, inductive. Therefore, interference between signal is very prominent in the case of coaxial cable. Whereas in optical fiber, interference between the signal is negligible or almost none. Okay. The fifth which we can say that the raw material of optical fiber is silica which is abundantly available in the nature. Therefore, optical fiber is getting cheaper day by day. Whereas basic raw material of coaxial cable is copper which is getting costly day by day. Okay, there are many more advantages of optical fiber over coaxial cable. Now move on, let's discuss the structure of optical fiber. The major part of optical fiber is called optical core which is made of dielectric medium and mainly light travel in the core. Okay, It is covered by surface which we call cladding and the refractive index of cladding is less than the refractive index of core. Why we are using cladding? Actually in the optical fiber light use the law of total internal reflection and by using cladding, we can increase the chances of total internal reflection, okay? So this is two major component, core and cladding. And in order to protect this structure, there is outer layer which we call jacket. So jacket is just there for the protection of whole structure of core and cladding. Depending upon the profile of refractive index of this core, we can have different types of optical fiber, okay? So let's discuss about how many types of optical fiber. There are two different types of optical fiber. The first one is step index optical fiber. In the case of step index optical fiber, refractive index is uniform throughout the core and it will change abruptly at the core cladding interface. 
if you plot the refractive index as a function of distance from the center of core that is from the axis of core okay then you will find out this kind of a structure okay there is a step down at the interface of core and cladding and here you can easily see that this red curve look like a step okay that is why this optical fiber is known as step index optical fiber step index optical fiber is of two type multi mode and single mode okay now move on the second one is graded index optical fiber as name suggest here refractive index gradient exists in the core refractive index of the core is made to vary gradually such that it is maximum at the center of core if you plot the profile of refractive index then you will find out this kind of curve you can easily check from this picture this black dotted line is the axis of core central axis and here you can see the refractive index is maximum at the center and then it gradually decreasing okay so that is why it called graded index optical fiber now the question is why we need these two different kinds of optical fiber there are many advantages of graded index optical fiber over step index optical fiber however the manufacturing of step index fiber is very easy okay so depending upon what kind of precision we need depending upon what kind of price we need we have to choose between step index and graded index optical fiber now let's see the difference between the step index and graded index optical fiber the first one is is its structure refractive index of core is uniform in the case of step index optical fiber whereas refractive index of core is made to vary gradually and it will have maximum at the center of core the second one is dimension of the step index optical fiber and graded index optical fiber diameter of core in the case of step index fiber is 5 to 200 micrometer whereas diameter of core in the case of graded index optical fiber is 50 micrometer light take zigzag path while propagating in the step index fiber it will go straight up and then at the core cladding surface it will reflect back and it will move in a zigzag fashion whereas light path in the case of graded index fiber is helical attenuation pulse dispersion in the case of step index fiber is more compared to the graded index optical fiber so when we need to minimize the attenuation and pulse dispersion which is desirable because larger the attenuation it will be difficult to send the light signal for a larger distance having less attenuation is important so if you want to compare the attenuation factor then graded index optical fiber is usually preferred over step index optical fiber also step index fiber have lower bandwidth whereas graded index optical fiber has higher bandwidth so there are many things which makes graded index optical fiber more useful over the step index optical fiber but as i said that structurally step index fiber is very easy so manufacturing wise step index optical fiber is preferable over the graded index optical fiber now just move on and we will see one more introductory part of this optical fiber which is coherent bundle in place of single optical fiber if large number of fibers pack together in a form of bundle in order to retain a fixed arrangement at two ends in such scenario this bundle is called coherent bundle and it will look like something this that is if you illuminate one end then bright spot will find at other so in that case if you use the coherent bundle it can transmit a image from one end to other end so this is all about the introductory of optical fiber i will see you in the upcoming videos where i will discuss more about the attenuation pulse dispersion which i have talked about in detail numerical aperture basic properties of optical fiber ray path so on in order to make this whole lecture series complete so hope you like this video and i will looking forward to see you in the next video thank you